Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Raptor X here with Good Clean Gaming RX, and today we are the brand new Wave One 3.23 Alpha Star Citizen early release. Um, it's in the EPTU branch at this point, I uh, meaning that it is only open for uh, subscribers. Pay the ten dollar or twenty dollar a month a subscriber. A fee or you know subscriber pass um, for the Evocati testers and for those who have uh, reached the threshold of uh, done, doing a lot of testing and, and that sort of stuff and the issue that's only reporting with issues. Um, I went ahead and paid the uh, paid the fee, so I am uh, patch here so that I can. Uh, do some uh, do some gameplay here and kind of show off some of the new features of Star Citizen that are in this next patch. Now I'm not going to have time today to go over all of them as this patch is absolutely massive. But I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of the things at least and uh, kind of see what we can get up to. So um, first off, I do want to show off the new characterizer character customization instead of the old um, instead of the old I have two different uh, two different character models that you can start off with, um, but these can be highly customized. So there's a brand new interface now. There's a brand new way of doing the modeling of the character, changing the skin tone, textures, and all that kind of stuff. Hit the uh, the randomize button down here, just like we could in the old one. Of course, to just click through and random, uh, randomly generated characters. Uh, but then you can also hit the randomize all, and that will go through and randomize makeup and skin tone, and, uh, all different uh, you know hairstyles, all that sort of stuff. Uh, give you a, a very good uh, preview, I guess, of everything possible. So um, you can start this with uh, you can do this with the hair, with the styling, with basically everything on here. Let's do a randomize all sort of thing. I kind of like this one. It, it's um, a little different than I normally go for, but uh, it, it's kind of got a got a striking appearance to it. Go ahead and leave most of the skin and eyes and everything, the, the actual face itself, the way it is. But I'm going to go ahead and get in and change the hair because I want to show off some of the some of the hair differences. So uh, you can drag around with the with the right mouse button and rotate the character around and around sort of thing. Mouse drag down, and this is where the new hair system really starts to show its uh, starts to show its possibilities. So they've added new hair physics now, so that move your character in game um, or in the in the designer here, you'll actually start to see some physical hair deformation, um, and that that's also with the hair as well and we're starting to get a quite a decent selection of hairstyles now and we've we've gone from having eight or ten sort of thing to having a whole bunch of different different hairstyles um, and then the really neat thing is that these can be uh, changed and customized further uh, by using the hair coloring panel over here. Uh, you can put facial hair on all characters, which uh, this is neither here nor there. Not really a fan of it myself, but I suppose if you want to have a range of that, uh, of that bent, that is entirely up to you. Um, they do have uh, various different eyebrows that you can put onto it as well. Um, and then you can go through and you can change the uh, 
uh, change the facial, change the, the hair color. And this is kind of where a lot of this uh, starts to shine, is that uh, you can really get into here and change stuff around. And if you want to, you can either do do like a dye roots sort of thing so that you can do a uh, say you wanted to do like you know the, the person's been out in the wild sort of thing and they normally have a natural hair color oh somewhere around somewhere around here sort of thing uh, but they'd had a, had a hair dye at some point along the way and so you can change the dye amount and see how much that actually influences things um, and then they've also got a dye gradient here, which allows you to dye, um, you know, along along the edge of it, sort of things, so that um, might have a full amount of dye here, uh, but then the the roots are you know, are different. So you can go ahead and and kind of play around and change a lot of different things here so uh, you can change like this there we go that's that's the better way to, to show it off so if you wanted to have like a, a light root or something and then you know that that die dynamically drags so you could have you know say a, a, a light root or something and then someone's uh, someone's got blonde but it's it's been a little while since they've been to the been to the hair colorist, and so it's starting to, to fade out a little bit with the hair growth, right? Um, or if you wanted to do something a little bit a little bit more stylized, um, so you might have a like a blonde sort of thing, and then you wanted to go with something blue. Um, and all of this can be dynamically changed, so you might just have like the tips or something like that. Um, and you know, all of this is is physically uh, live and you can do you, know, you can do all sorts of different stuff here where you can get like a little bit of dye variation in there as well it's it's really quite a powerful system um, and then you can also then select each of these different things so say if you're wanting to change the eyebrow color to match kind of the rest of the uh, the rest of your character, you can go ahead and, and get in there and change that, or you just go eh, have it, you know, a little bit more of the, but more darker kind of thing, and, and all of that can be changed by selecting the different uh, different hair color um, swatches. Go ahead and change what you what you want that color to be. Um, I'm going to go ahead and. back out to a nice red kind of my my favorite uh, favorite color and then I'm gonna go ahead and knock that dye amount all the way down I'm just gonna go for go for just a little bit here I guess maybe do that there we go I'll kind of give it a little bit of a little bit of a gradation there Just like that. Okay, so you know, that's there's you've then got like different makeup and stuff that you can put on if you want to get uh, if you want to get into that. Obviously, this can go on for uh, for both genders as well. Star Citizen's very good about uh, you know, doing doing that for both genders and, and being uh, inclusive that way. Um, I generally just go for no makeup myself or something and very light, probably about like that. And then you can go ahead and just review and say, yep, is that how I want to do it or no? I'll go ahead and do this since we're in a PTU build. And we'll go with that one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and jump in here. And uh, we'll catch up once we're all loaded in. Okay, so I've gone ahead and moved myself up to Seraphim Station. Um, but the first thing that you'll notice is that there's been quite a bit of a difference to the UI change, um, you've got uh, you've got a mini map up in the left hand corner, um, and so as you can see, kind of up here, uh, so you can now see a 3D hologram 
of yourself or of the of the station that you're in as you kind of rotate around you'll see the uh, the little pointer in there um, right there is a the little arrow where your physical location actually is um, and you can kind of see as you move around in the hologram where you're actually at uh, the second thing that you'll notice is that the user prompts have changed quite a bit. You now just have a, a little blinking F there to interact with things. And you can just tap F now to open up and interact with doors and different things like that. Um, and those are visible on just about anything that you can interact with. Again here, there you go, call elevator. And you can just tap F there and it'll call the elevator around. Um, the door, the uh, the layer or level selection, you still have to hold F and click on the uh, on where you want to go, but uh, it does work uh, just the same as it as it used to. Um, as long as your server actually responds halfway decently, get you where you're going. Um, we've been we've been getting some pretty horrendous uh, server tick rate at this point it's it's been pretty steadily around uh, three to four at this point at least for the past uh, for the past day or two and if I can get this to actually go down to the lobby we'll be able to uh, experience a little more of this here I'm not sure exactly what's going on here I might uh, I'll pause here and we'll pick up back out into the main floor Okay, Whew, that was uh, <laughs> that was a long few seconds. Um, so as you can see in the mini map, there we're moving around in our uh, in our map and kind of see where things are. We also now have uh, little key uh, or little little text indicators of what's going on here. So you've got an internal transit that kind of lets you know, uh, you know, this is these are the internal elevators and all that kind of stuff. Um, there's no authorized personnel, but it's lit up with a green one. So I've seen, I've seen the little doors in here actually been been red before. If you, if they don't open or that you're not allowed into there, um, I feel like they did a lighting pass on it as well, but that's been kind of intermittent. Where like some days I'll get in and be like, oh yeah, the lighting's different, and, and others are like, eh, it kind of seems just the same as it was in 323. Um, Another thing that they have changed uh, significantly would be the shopping UI. So we're going to go ahead and we'll head out to the Galleria here. And we'll take a look at the, uh, take a look at the Galleria. And we'll take a look at the new shopping and... Uh, see what we get into. Yeah, I still kind of feel like, you know, the light, the shading at least has changed. Oh, there we go. Kind of popping in a little bit. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and where the, where the shopping UI is. Nope, that's, that's down to the food court over there. So, um, we come up here. Um, shop, you can see the text box up there. Um, they've now made it. Oh, and they fixed that too. Those used to be uh, used to be rotated around. Uh, but as you can see, uh, you can now hold a long hold F, and it'll automatically buy it and put it into your local inventory. Okay. Starting to see those rotate properly. Um, P4 Boneyard. For AR, I'm going to go ahead and hold F. And just like that, transaction complete, and Good I've got purchase. one of those in my local inventory now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that with the SMG as well. And boom, we've got one of those as well. Um, it doesn't work that way with any of this stuff yet. Obviously, it's all marked sold out anyway. Um, but you can now, you know, long press buy and you can also just hit F to inspect it and you'll get, uh, get one of those in hand where you're supposed to be able to. 
it's not actually showing up for me, so let's see if this will see if this will work this time. Right. So, oh, there we go. There we go, and you can actually you know rotate that around with your mouse and whatnot to uh, to take a look at it, and just put it back on the shelf with E. <laughs> or it should. Uh, another thing that you'll notice, oh, I might have gotten myself a free weapon there. Maybe not. <laughs> it's supposed to be going back on the shelf there. Uh, another thing that you'll notice then when you have a weapon equipped, I'm going to go ahead and see. Really recommend that one. There we go. Uh, so as you can see, is that we've got a new ammo count here. Uh, basically showing you how much you have in the current magazine, how much you have on your equipped in the uh, on your belt or whatever. Uh, your fire selector mode, whether you're in uh, you know rapid fire, continuous sort of thing, or single shot. Uh, the number of grenades that you have, the number of med pens that you have. Uh, you can click your fire mode um, to kind of click through this sort of stuff. Um, and then there's also a little icon down here when you're wearing a backpack that basically lets you know if you have uh, more ammo in your backpack uh, because they've added backpack reloads now so that you can uh, you can reload a weapon from your backpack. Um, it takes a little bit longer than it would from pulling off of the, one of the ones on your, uh, on your belt. Uh, but you can now rummage stuff out of your backpack and get that. So I'm going to go ahead and it's P4. Go ahead and buy myself some ammunition here because we're going to we're going to do a bunker mission today if we can. Show off some of the changes with that. Hi. Let me know if there's anything nope. waiting for pending result delivery destination. Uh, we're going to choose a destination and we're going to go surf and station. sure if that's going to work properly or not. Buy 10 of those. Station. Good. Failed. Waiting for pending results. So... Wonder if any of this has actually come or not. Ammo? No, it has not. So we are, we are without ammo at this point. As I, as I mentioned, this is uh, still very early um, in the PTU branch, so there are a decent number of bugs. Every destination, let's go ahead and try Seraphim Station. I oh, failed on that one again. Alright, let's see if we can buy some armor for ourselves. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and we'll buy one of those. And that one's failed as well, so we can't buy armor at this point. This is one that I've uh, that I've actually heard there was uh, there was some issues. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can just buy some stuff off the shelf here. Um, bunch of arms, undersuit. Let's go ahead and long long hold to buy that. There we go, because that seems to be working. So we'll go Smart ahead five. and do that. Yes, it does have a fire, so good. Uh, so there we go. We'll go ahead and fire one of those as well. And do the same for the legs. There we go, good. And good let's go ahead and see, can I Find a backpack here somewhere that I can that I can put on. There we go. Let's let's get this one here. Uh, it's adventure core. Arms. Apparently, it's not going to work to buy the helmet. Buy the uh, buy the backpack. So we'll just have to go with uh, with what we can what 
we can wear now here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and we'll put on our armor here. And this works essentially the same way as the, uh, as the previous iteration did. Let's go ahead and we'll get our weapons as well. Put those on. Okay. Well, in that case, let's take the P4. That's kind of my preferred one. Okay. And we'll go with that. Do you have a, a backpack there? Can I... So I can't take that. All right. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and we'll head out here. All of, obviously, uh, all these shops can be uh, can be interacted with actually on the shelves here. So, be a hard time to purchase any of that at this point. Uh, what else do we have here? We've got a uh, ship weapon store. And it looks like all of these can just be purchased right off the rack as well. Um don't see anything that I particularly want here, so what, what size is this one? Looks like probably a size 2, maybe? Action error. Alright, well, so we can't buy that. <laughs> looks like that's that's probably like a size two maybe um, we've also got uh, oh we've got a got a live fire weapons here let's see if I can get ammo at this location um, sometimes we've got, uh, oh, we've got flash hider and suppressors down here too e mod um, Flash. Hi. Thanks. Okay, nothing yet for, for ammunition though, so let's see if it'll work here. Probably still got the old interface here, but I think Hey, there we go. Perfect. So we've got some ammunition now. We can uh, we can take this and actually go out on a uh, bunker mission. Go ahead and we'll bring that into the uh, the core armor slot here. A couple of them onto my weapon slots. Go like so, and then I'm going to go ahead and we'll split this and we'll get, uh, I don't know, what, 10? Go and see, can I bring those in? No. Okay. It's not, not working to bring, bring ammo into the personal weapons here. Can I split one of them? Okay, so we can't can't carry very many of those then. Let's go ahead and that one in. Yeah, we can carry carry like three of those. All right, so we'll just go with that then because we've got a new a new loot system as well. Um, that's going to allow us to hopefully quickly grab ammunition once we get down to a bunker here. So let's go ahead and we'll head out that way and we'll take a look at uh, take a look at master modes because the flight system has changed uh, significantly as well. Go ahead and hold F and pull the elevator here because uh, it doesn't look like... There we go. It doesn't look like that's working particularly well. Hangers and cabs. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the server's been running at a pretty slow rate. That was actually <laughs> actually one of the smoothest ones I've had. Um, 
as far as a, an elevator trip anywhere. Um, go ahead and uh, we'll get our ship. I've flown the uh, flown the arrow up here. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Um, actually, this is. Running vehicle quite select. A bit Your vehicle oh, nice. has Hang been delivered forward. to Very the following nice. location. Please visit All right, again. maybe we've had a uh, something change here. Pull the elevator. Go. It's interesting too. You can see the. Uh, you can see the uh, the elevator actually showing up on your mini map when you. Uh, When you're waiting for it, which kind of demonstrates that that's actually a live, a live model, uh, kind of showing everything. Um, and of course, you can you can look at this now from your Moby Glass, and this has all been updated as well. We've got a new, new Moby Glass uh, interface um, with a lot of different a lot of different changes. Your notifications, contracts, vehicles, all this kind of stuff has changed significantly. Um, I'm going to go ahead and we'll tab into the maps page here and you can actually take a look at all of your different areas and if say you wanted to go, uh, we want to go to the food court you can now click on that and it'll actually show you the food court itself and say you wanted to, I think it's actually a way to there's supposed to be a way to, to actually put a uh, yeah, there you go. There's an elevator actually showing up there. Uh, a way to, to set markers. Um, and I'm not sure exactly how you do that yet, whether it's like a double click or a right click or a middle mouse. I'm not sure exactly how that works quite yet. Uh, but you're supposed to be able to put markers to this and actually go and um, it'll draw a route for you to get there. Um, obviously, I'm on I'm on the Habs deck currently. Um, well, actually, I'm, I'm up in the hangar, so I'm not even down here. But you can see we've got a full layout uh, of the area, and this can kind of be, you know, panned and zoomed and dragged all around to, to kind of look at all the different levels and all that kind of stuff. It's really, really quite cool. Uh, Star Citizen finally has a mini map, or, or will as soon as this uh, fully releases. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at my contracts now and see what else we can do. Um, Bounty Hunter, Tracker Training. Uh, do we have anything under mercenary? There we go. That's where all of our uh, clear claim jumper security work assessment. There we go. Um, so this one's on security post Opal on Yella. I'm going to go ahead and accept that offer. And we'll have that pop down. And then I'm going to go back to offers as well and grab... Normally we've got a... Uh, Normally we've got a uh, call to arms here. It's it's not showing up for me. So we're going to go ahead and we'll just go with the security work assessment at this point. Um, and of course now that pops up in our upper right hand corner up here and kind of shows us what our uh, what our work is there. Um, we've now got a couple different interaction points as well showing up for all of our different uh, different things. The text is is different. Um, and we can now hold F here and come up with our different selection wheel um, and click on one of these different things but we can also right click and that'll change it to our primary interaction so we can now just set that to automatically when we tap, tap F that instead of like opening the canopy or the ladder or something like that it's just automatically get into your ship and all of that works now um, I'm going to go ahead and double tap R. That's uh, that's the new power everything on command now. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and double tap N, which is my change to command for calling for takeoff. And we're going to go ahead and get out of here. And we'll, uh, we'll demonstrate some of the new stuff with Master Mode. So, one of the first things that you'll notice is that uh, getting out of here is significantly significantly slower. 
And that's because they've turned on a proximity feature where when your landing gear is out, your max speed is capped at around 35 meters per second or so. Um, and that doesn't matter whether you're in SCM, uh, standard combat maneuvering mode, or in nav mode. Uh, you can't go faster than about 30 meters per second with your landing gear out. Um, and as you can see, I'm kind of zooming around here at uh, about 200 meters, 232 meters a second. And I can hit boost and we can go up to oh, 450, 500 meters per second sort of thing. Um, but that's as fast as we can go in SEM speed now. Um, so if we want to go somewhere at, at fast speed, or if we want to quantum travel somewhere, uh, we now have to turn on nav mode. Uh, which you can do by long pressing B on your keyboard. And that's going to pull your shields down into a capacitor and turn your weapons off. But it'll also unlock higher top speeds. So as you can see, I'm now zooming along uh, 1200 meters or so. 1210 for top speed. And normally my shields would be disappeared into the uh, into the into the capacitor bank right now um, but unfortunately it's uh, it's not working quite correctly there we go now they've disappeared as you can see in the, in the bottom left over here my shields are completely gone as I'm traveling through space on my quantum drive um, quantum uh, they've changed the UI for, you know, for quantum travel and for um, all of the different uh, different vehicle interactions are changed slightly as well. Um, the interaction points, the quantum marker points, they've had a whole new UI update um, on a lot of this stuff that's been quite interesting. Um, quantum travel is actually in the middle of a rework um, and so we're getting the new UI but the functionality is essentially the same at this point. Um, in the near future, I think they've said this is probably going to be either in the next patch or shortly afterwards. Um, next next major patch of course, 324 sort of thing. Um, they're actually going to be adding the new uh, quantum travel Uh, they're going to be adding the new quantum travel system. As you can see, my shields are coming back online there as I as I swap back to SCM mode, um, and we're locked down to you know that 500 meters per second top speed again. Uh, so we can you know, boost as we like to, to to get within range, sort of thing. Um, but we are kind of locked down to that speed unless we want to swap back to nav mode. Um, and that will that will bring back our our high top speeds and activate our quantum drive. We'll enable it. There we go. Let me kind of zoom around it at a little bit of a higher speed. So this is this is kind of you're getting from point A to point B sort of mode. Um, and then when you get uh, when you get close or when you get to within combat range, you want to go ahead and knock back down to SCM speeds because that's going to bring up your weapons. Uh, which can be fired. Should be able to be fired as soon as you as soon as you get back down to SCM speed. So uh, we are here at Opal, and uh, we're going to go ahead and a little bit of a loading issue. It looks like because we should have a should have a bunker right there. Um, and uh, we've just got to, there we go starting to starting to load in there I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and set down over here just outside of the outside of the bunker I've seen any turrets firing at me at this point and I shouldn't Go ahead and put our landing gear down, and that's going to bring landing down gear. our, our uh, proximity collision sort of thing. Turn our 
we have to add our proximity maneuvering on. And lock us down to about 30 meters a second or so. Pop out, just make sure that I'm properly seated here. Good. Turn off my engines. Go ahead and get out of your seat here. You can still hold R, uh, hold Y to get out of your seat. Go ahead and do that here, and we'll be getting out. Uh, you can also see now we've got a new uh, new temperature HUD down here, um, and you've got your your health. We've got 198 hit points now. And uh, it's at negative 32 degrees Celsius here, so a little bit chilly on yellow right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and we'll pull out our weapon here. And as you can see, I show zero uh, actually in the, um, actually in my, my ammo uh, container there. So it doesn't automatically come loaded with one now. Um, but I've also got uh, got six of those left. Uh, three of them, as you can see, kind of on my on my character here. And then I show that I've got some in my backpack there. So that'll kind of let me know. Oh, you've got you've got some in the backpack there. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll head into here. Hopefully, we get some halfway decent frame rate. And we're going to head down and see if we can. See if we can take out some uh, take out some bad guys here. Uh, they've changed crouch to C now instead of left control. All right, and it looks like we've got uh, looks like we've got our our good guys now have the green arrows on top of them. So we want to avoid shooting them. Well, frame rate is pretty bad at this point. I'm just going to stay. Stay moving here. Go. Oh. We don't take, uh, don't take too much damage. I've got damage. I've got ten shots left to my magazine here, so I want to be a little careful as I come around here. Frame rate is actually perhaps a atrocious. Yeah, atrocious at this point. Them taken care of. Go ahead and have a quick run around here and just make sure we don't have anyone else. Top level here. I don't see anyone else. Fortunately, they're, they're still stuck inside the uh, stuck inside the elevators there, so not going to be able to see the new loot screen at this point. As they've added uh, a new loot interface now uh, that uh, allows you to quick loot uh, from down players and from uh, down security personnel. Ooh.
load, there we go, and Aggravated assault. That was really weird. All right. So apparently we've got a criminal record now because our security personnel are are staying in their elevators, <laughs> not actually walking around. Uh, all right. That's that's not what we wanted. At least we're not getting crime stat for shooting the bad guys now. That was uh, that was something that we were getting in the last one. Um, go ahead and we'll exit. Uh, F to loot here. This is going to bring up the new new screen and we can equip with just normal click here or we can uh, left shift and click. Do, there we go. I'll go ahead and equip that as well so I've got another consumables on me there. Um, do we have anyone with one of my weapons? No we do not. Alright. So we might be able to do that, but that's that's the new uh, UI and loot screen. Um. Oh, yeah. Is that? That's security. Whoops. <laughs> well, don't stay in your elevator, mate. All right. So if we loot loot him here. Uh, we'll see the same thing. He's got. Uh, we can go ahead and equip that. And he's actually got a sidearm here, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll equip that onto our sidearm slot. Uh, we've got uh, some magazine pistols here. We'll go ahead and put those into our uh, into our equipped inventory there. Um, no, we want that one then. Take that one back out. There we go, and put this one on. And I'm not sure exactly what he's got there. There we go. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and let uh, out. He's got the Uberev. No, I'm going to grab that. There we go. And we've now got the Uberev pistol, and that'll go with our our batteries there. And we can go ahead and get back out of that. I guess the doors are staying open for me. All right, and we're going to go ahead and get out of here now because we've got uh, we've got a crime stat, and so there's a, a good chance that we're either going to have security after us, uh, or potentially even another player. So we're going to go up to the surface level here. Um, servers, as I mentioned earlier, are having a little bit of a struggle right now um, with actually being you know, responsive and, and things doing what they're supposed to. Um, so I'm hopeful that those issues will be straightened out here in the near future. Be able to, to really show this off to the full extent um, that we've got it now. So there are some really, really neat changes um, that are going to be uh, going to be coming with uh, with 3.23. Let's go ahead and let's interact here, and we'll be able to pilot seat here. There we go. It's, there we go. Actually, doing its thing.
Right. And engine's on. And up we go. Landing gear back in here, and I'm going to go ahead and fly out of here. I'm not sure if I'm being hit or what exactly is going on because I've taken a little bit of tail damage there. I'm going to go ahead and kind of zoom out of range here, and I'm going to swap over to quantum travel. Turn on nav mode. That's again going to pull my shields uh, back into their capacitor pool. Uh, light up all of my uh, quantum travel points. And I'm going to take a little look around and see. Now the other interesting thing is I'm not sure if this is due to uh, due to a change in the lighting or due to a change in rendering or what exactly, but we can now see uh, quite a bit of the stuff in the asteroid belts and quite a bit of the the space scaping now um, that you wouldn't normally be able to see. So I'm quite liking that change. It kind of lets you know, hey, there's you know, there's something up ahead here that you can that you can go to and uh, and see something different. So. I'll look around and see if I can find Grim Hex here. It should be somewhere in the asteroid belt. There we go. Minus Lament. So, Grim Hex. There we go. I'm going to jump over there because I've got, uh, I've got a crime stat now. And uh, so I'm now relegated to, uh, to showing up to the bad boy camp. And until or once you once you drop out of uh, out of quantum travel, uh, your your speeds are still reduced uh, to SEM speed until your quantum cooldown, quantum travel, quantum um, or quantum drive uh, cools down. Go ahead and I must assign privileges. Oh, <laughs> this is Grim Hex, mate. Little bit of a bug there. This is Grim Hex. You should not have any problem at all with my having a crime stat. It's a criminal hideout after all. And it looks like they're still giving me a uh, landing bay here, hopefully. Yep, there we go. So, maybe it's just that uh, the rest of the world has been notified of my crimes. Oh goodness. Yeah, we've got all sorts of, of funny stuff going on here. <laughs> Engines offline. Go ahead then, and uh, I'm going to give myself a couple of uh, hacking chips here, and uh, we're going to see first of all if we can uh, hack down the commsat, as we've uh, as we've been able to in previous patches, and then we'll go to Korea and see if I can get rid of my commsat by hacking that down. Here. The elevators here have been a little slow to respond. So, let's see if this actually see if this actually works or not. I'm stuck here. I may have to uh, fly out to the old pads to actually get to. Uh, That'll allow us to show off uh, EVA tier two. Eh, I think we're going to do that. Um, the elevators are not working here, so let's go ahead and 
back into our ship here. Again, because we've custom set uh, F interact on our ship to just mean get into the pilot seat. Let's go ahead and tap F. Uh, get right into there. Obviously, once the once the server catches up and does its thing. Take off here. They've done some base tweaks as well to the Toby eye tracking system. Um, this is just default. I've not uh, not changed anything, um, and so this is the new, new default for. The Toby eye tracking system. As far as like the sensitivity and responsiveness, um, it actually feels really, really decent. Um, so I'm quite liking that as well. Alright, let's go ahead and get out of here. And I'm going to fly around to the entrance, uh, the zero G entrance. And my landing light. Uh, Lights here. In, let's see here. There we go. There's the old zero G entrance. I'm going to go ahead and One of the that's here. It's it's kind of over by the the large hangar, if I remember correctly. Take a look here. They've, I really feel like they've they've changed the lighting a little bit as well. Um, there we go. There's the entrance. All right. Go ahead and come in here. Get out of the ship. And we'll uh, go over the, the new EVA system. So the transition now from, from EVA to ship is much, much smoother now. Um, and you've now got a Superman pose uh, for all of your all of your flying and you maintain momentum so you know you can go like this and kind of look back at your ship and you're going to continue drifting uh, in the direction that you've you've kind of uh, pointed yourself and then it really doesn't change you until you apply that that forward drift um, to get uh, to get going here so Slow myself down a little bit. Go. And as you can see, the uh, the maneuvering now is much easier. Just kind of drift along with little little spurts of uh, spurts of air as you need to 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 do that and actually it's it's really neat when you get close to, to running into something um, it'll go ahead and there you go and you'll automatically transition just like that right onto the uh, right onto the world uh, gravitational gravitational field there and just like that so They've really changed EVA now to make it a lot more user-friendly, a lot easier to get in and out, um, and a lot less, you know, flying into a ship and landing on your face sort of thing. Um, 
Falcons. I'm really, really liking the changes that they've made there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and we'll go over here to the, uh, the terminal here quickly. No, not terminal, sorry. We'll walk over here. Not sure what the store name is here, but uh, to where we can get packing chips. And, uh, see, so can we long press these? Let's put them back in. That's going to be a bit of an issue then if we can't, uh, can't purchase these like that. We're going to have a bit of a hard time. It doesn't look like we can, so. Uh, we might be spending, <laughs> might be spending the rest of this uh, with a crime stat. Unless there's somewhere, I don't think they've added an interface or anything that allows us to, to purchase these anywhere. So, no, we cannot. All right, so we are without a hacking chip then. So we can find one in a bunker or something somewhere, but uh, we're on the naughty board list, so we won't be getting any more of those until we can get that straightened out. So, <laughs> um, I guess at this point, um, I've got one or two options. I can go ahead and uh, just surrender myself up here at the uh, at the terminal. Right there. There we go. I'll go ahead and log in here. See, here we go. Again, and I've got a couple of aggravated assaults. I pay all fines here. No, I have no outstanding fines. I'm not sure if that then erases my crime stat or not. I think I probably, probably still have one. Let's pull up our moving glass here and take a look. Uh, contracts. Oh, crime stat. Pull up the, uh, the crime stat and... Uh, little record. Yep, uh, I've got three homicides. So, uh, at this point... I'm, uh, I'm on the naughty list. I uh, won't be able to get any more sponsored missions from, say, security or anything like that. So you're not even sure if there are any um, contracts that I can really do for the for the lawful side of things now. Salvage and delivery is really a bit about it. Um, There we go, unverified. Okay. So we've got uh, a couple secure post type four. Crypto key, Rio's break, Yana, Dama, and grab one there. Ah. Okay, well, let's try that then. Um, we'll go over to, to Rio's and see if we can get that. Actually, you know what? We're, we've gone almost an hour here, so I think we'll just leave this one here for right now. Um, I'm going to go out to my, go back out to my ship here, and uh, we'll get um, get that properly stowed away. But uh, yeah, let me know, I guess, down below what you think of the of the changes. Obviously, uh, performance has been terrible at this point, so. Uh, no use commenting on that. We all know the uh, the performance at this point is, is really abysmal. Um, again, this is still in wave one uh, early testing, and so uh, I'm not really expecting it to be super high performance at this point. Um, they've also added uh, some server service stability changes. Ooh, 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 goodness. Okay. Um, and they've got the replication layer turned on and server crash recovery uh, should also be working. Um, and so instead of uh, instead of a server now 
Uh, instead of a server now crashing, when you uh, when you hit a 30k, a uh, server recovery basically means that it's it's gonna instead freeze for a couple of seconds uh, to a couple of minutes uh, because it is uh, still kind of variable at this point. Um, and then it's just going to load you up into a new server. And everything will continue on as it was kind of before without, uh, without any of the, the previous problems. So as you can see, you kind of get a, a little hand extended there to try and bounce you off or ward off the impact. Let's go ahead and get back in here and yeah, very nice. None of the bouncing and spinning and jank and all that as we uh, as we do here. So that's been very nice as well. EVA's been EVA's been a joy now. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish off here. Thank you all for watching. Uh, take care, and I will see you all next time. Ta-ta.